Hello, seventh graders. So welcome to week four, quarter two. This week, you're going to be writing a scientific argument. I'm just gonna open the um, announcement. The video will be here. You're going to be writing a scientific argument to answer this question. How did George and Jones increase his cellular respiration and improve his performance? So last week you read the article to talk about what blood doping is versus what high altitude training is. And we know that they both um, help increase red blood cells, which means that there's an increased amount of oxygen available to cells. So what does that do? And um, one thing that you might wanna do is go back to lesson 12, because the evidence, there's evidence in that lesson that you can use to support the claim that you choose, as well as go back to the article that we read. Those are both two great pieces of evidence that you use, so could use. So lesson 12, then reading and annotating, messing with metabolism to win races could be two things that would be helpful to help you with the scientific argument. Also remember that key concepts can help you as well to especially think about the reasoning for your scientific argument. So remember you're writing a paragraph, at least a paragraph, and you need to have a claim, evidence, and reasoning within your um, scientific argument. So here's the question. So we know that Jordan Jones finished 35th in a competition bike race last year and first in a similar race this year, which is raising suspicion. And so did, how did he increase his cellular respiration and improve his performance? Did he increase it because he blood, what, did blood doping or did he increase it because he did training at higher altitude? So I put the link in for lesson 12 right there to help you. Remember that you, um, to make sure you write down the claim you selected, that your evidence supports your claim and the reasoning shows how the evidence supports your claim. And you could use the vocabulary right here. And then these sentence starters can help you as well. So remember that when you click, you're gonna click the text box entry and you're gonna, there's a, gonna be a blue box up here, here like kind of right here when mine says edit or publish, you're going to click submit. It will open the text box. And at the bottom, when you're finished, you're going to click submit to hand it in. So make sure if you have any questions, please let me know. Then the next thing that you're gonna do is review for the end of unit assessment. You're going to do the Kahoot. There's 20 questions. I mean, there are 10 questions. No, there are 20 questions. So they're each worth, each worth a point. Um, I don't know why I got myself mixed up for a second. Make sure you put your first and last name and then click go and you um, answer the questions. Um, this is helpful for a review. You can also go back and look at um, some of the lessons and remember that the key vocabulary, key concepts and vocabulary are a great place as well to review. Then when you're ready, you're gonna click the metabolism end of unit assessment. There are 20 multiple choice questions and two open-ended questions along with three bonus questions. So when you click, um, you will click, you will be able, yours won't say preview. It will say, um, take the test. Um, you will have 90 minutes. Make sure you carve out time. It's a little long, to, especially to do the open-ended questions. So make sure that you have time in order to complete the assessment and um, do your very best in the two open-ended questions. I'm not expecting a sentence. I'm expecting paragraphs where you explain your thinking using examples, evidence. What did you learn about this um, in this unit? So you can't just say one, one sentence doesn't do enough for an open-ended question. So I'm expecting at least five sentences for each of those. Um, and then uh, anyways, so good luck. I am happy to review with you if you come 
to office hours, I will review uh, with you. Uh, so just let me know if you're not able to go come to office hours at that time, you can always uh, schedule an individual meeting with me. So I hope you have a great work and get lots of learning done. Good luck on the test.